Hey guys, this is Grishard from twitch.tv slash Grishard bringing you some knowledge base information. Let's get to it! If for some reason your Minecraft server allows itself to be turned on even with the ULA set to false, make sure that you turn it off before you do this or it may not save it. Also, I'd like to mention this is only telling you how to agree to the ULA. Make sure you actually read it so you know what you're agreeing to. There's also a link down in the description. As you may know, there are a lot of ways to agree to the EULA on a Minecraft server. I'm going to show you what is a universal way. First, we're going to show you how to get your FTP information if you have an Atlas server. This method will work on any host, any anything, as long as you can FTP in. Go ahead and go down in the description and just skip to the next section if you're not using Atlas. Alright, so first you're going to want to log into your control panel. It'll look something like this, kind of like mine does. Then you're going to want to click on manage on the side on whichever server. We're going to go ahead and use Grish Tech 2, one of my old Minecraft servers. It'll bring you to this screen. Click show FTP info up there. You're going to need the host, username, and password. If you don't remember your password, just click change. Go to the bottom and just change it real quick. Okay, so we're either this far or you've jumped ahead in the video. Now we're going to use FileZilla, which is an FTP program. There's a link in the description to get it. Go ahead and open it up. It'll look something like this. It'll have different different setup maybe if it's newer or whatever, but it'll look kind of like this. Go ahead at the very top left hand corner and click on the site manager button and it's going to bring you to a page kind of like this. Click new site, name your new site. As you see, we have Grish Tech 2 here and all my other FTP info. On the right hand side, go ahead and put in your host, your username and your password from before and then click connect. Now it's going to show something kind of like this. Um, you, it might say custom Minecraft, it just might say Minecraft. It just depends on how your host handles it. We're only going to focus on that window for the rest of this because all this other stuff just isn't important. Once you open it up, you'll see something like this. Go down to eula.txt, right click on it, and you'll get this. Click on view edit, and then it'll bring up a notepad or some other text modifier. You might have to select it from a list. I have mine set to something already so it's immediately going to pop up now i'm not exactly sure what all versions of minecraft have in this file but this line right here is the line you're looking for make sure you find it it's going to say ula equals false go ahead and change that to true that's it that's all you do now make sure you save top right hand corner click x this is going to pop up go ahead and click finish editing and delete local file then click yes and you're done Thank you so much for watching. If it was helpful, don't forget to push that subscribe button. Here's a couple other videos that you might find interesting. And don't forget to follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Have a great day. Thank you.